hello 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 how are you i hope you're doing good welcome back my name is faye kavoti and today being a monday i have an interesting segment that i am starting today and this segment is musical mondays now on musical mondays we will be looking at different gospel songs and relating them to scripture so to start us off we're going to start with this song by margaret james and it's called Jina Langu. So Jina Langu means my name. So the song says, Ninaomba Jina Langu liwepo kitaboni. And then it repeats, Ninaomba Jina Langu liwepo kitaboni. Yesu Jina Langu liwepo kitaboni. So this simply means that I pray that my name will be in the book. I pray that my name will be in the book. Jesus help me for my name to be in the book now you may be wondering which book is this this book is the book of life and how do we know that there is a book of life so let's look at exodus chapter 32 verse 31 to 33 it says then moses turned to the lord and said oh these people have seen a great sin and have made for themselves a god of gold yet now if you will forgive their sin but if not, I pray, blot me out of your book which you have written. Moses had gone up the mountain to receive the Ten Commandments. And when he comes down, he finds that the Israelites have sinned against God. And they have even made themselves an image to worship. And God was so angry with them. And so God, Mo Moses is pleading with God and telling God who have sinned against you. But if you, you will not forgive them, blot out my name from your book so the book of life is a book that is written by god himself names of people who have received jesus christ and are living a righteous life are written in this book so on the day of judgment these are the people who will be called out and these are the people who will inherit the kingdom of heaven in this song the the the, the musician says that I pray that my name will be in the book of life. Because when you, your name is in the book of life, then you will inherit the kingdom of heaven. So the song also says, Ni maumbi yangu jina langu liwepo kitaboni. Kile kitabu kitakatifu kisicho sema uongo. Kile kitabu kikamilifu kilicho andikwa na mungu mwenyewe. That it is my prayer that my name will be in the book of life. That holy book that does not lie. The complete book that has been written by God himself. The song goes on to say, Wewe ulisema ashindai atapewa jina jipia. Na wala jina lake halita futwa kitaboni. Utalikiri jina lake mbele ya mungu na malaika. The song says, Jesus, you said that whoever wins will be given a new name. And that their name will not be blotted out from the book of life that you will confess their names in front of god and in front of angels was this songwriter making fiction or is it something that exists so let's look at the bible so we're going to revelation chapter 3 verse 5 he who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments and i will not blot out his name from the book of life but i will confess his name before my father and before his angels so this is true that whoever wins shall be clothed in white garments and their names shall not be blotted out from the book of life and jesus christ will confess their names in front of angels and in front of god how cool is that so cool we go to the next verse so the verse says Nikija usiseme ondoka sikujue. But when I come, don't say leave, I don't know you. Nikija usiseme sina mwaliko. When I come, don't tell me that I do not have an invite. Nikija usiseme sina vazi la harusi. When I come, don't tell me that I don't have wedding clothes. Jesus, Yesu nisaidie, niwezeshe, niwepo kitabuni. That Jesus helped me to be in the book of life. 
nisijitete nilihubiri na huna record nami that i should not come to to defend myself that i preached yet you do not have any records of me niliita baba e baba na bado hunijui that i called father father and you still don't know me that niliponya wagonjwa na kutoa mapepo na huna record nami that i i healed the sick and exorcised demons yet Jesus you do not have records of me Yesu nisaidie nisikose kuwepo kitabuni that Jesus help me that I should not miss in the book of life so I am going to relate this also to scripture so we're going to go to Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 to 23 and it says not everyone who says to me Lord Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven but he who does the will of my father in heaven many will say to me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in your name cast out demons in your name and done many wonders in your name and then i will declare to them i never knew you depart from me you who practice lawlessness imagine So there are people who preach the name of the Lord, there are people who stand in pulpits and worship God and preach the name of the Lord and bring people to salvation, but since they practice lawlessness, their names will be blotted out or their names do are not in the book of life. In my opinion, I think this should be the second most important prayer after the prayer of salvation be that our names should be written in the book of life that we should not leave this world preaching the name of the lord bringing people to christ and in the end our names will not be in the book of life how sad will that be that you do things thinking that you are doing them for god and when the day of judgment comes jesus will look at you and say i do not know you so our prayer is that our names should be in the book of life so let's look at Luke chapter 10 verse 20 it says nevertheless do not rejoice in this that the spirits are subject to you but rejoice rather because your names are written in heaven so those people who perform miracles and they do things in the name of the lord the, the the major part is that you should not rejoice that spirits are in obedience to you that spirits submit to you you should your greatest joy should be that your name is written in the book of life so once your name is written in the book of life is it permanent or can god at some point remove your name from the book of life the answer is yes your name can be removed from the book of life depending on your actions so, and how do we know this we know this from the book of exodus chapter 32 when moses is having a conversation with god when the children of israel had sinned against god and they had made, and they had made themselves a golden calf to worship and when moses comes back God is angry that the children of Israel are worshiping an idol and, and he's he, I think he wanted to finish them but Moses pleads with God and tells him you will need to forgive these people because if you don't forgive them then you better blot out my name from the book of life so let's open that verse and see yet now if you will forgive their sin but if not I pray blot me out of your book which you have written and the lord said to moses whoever has sinned against me i will blot him out of my book you see that moses is telling god to blot out his name from the book of life if he is not going to forgive the israelites god tells moses that he will only blot out the names of those who have sinned against him so it means even if you get saved for 100 years and you sin for one year your name can be blotted out from the book of life so this song is a prayer that lord help me that my name should be in the book of life jesus help me for my name to be in the book of 
life so what happens if your name is not in the book of life so revelation chapter 20 verse 15 says that those who are not found in the book of life were thrown into the lake of fire so the question is do you want your name to be in the book of life or do you want to be cast in the lake of fire the choice is yours so this song is a prayer so when you keep singing it when you keep confessing this once you are telling God to help you that when the time comes, your name will be found in the book of life. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.